Thank you for your purchase. I'm going to start by taking all my pieces and putting them on my painter's tape. I have the sticky side up and this is going to hold all the small pieces and it makes it much easier to paint. And I'm going to start with the main portion of the three pieces of the snowman. I'm going to put painter's tape across the hat rim and I'm going to paint the rest of it in our snow owl. I'm using a foam dabber. You can get these right at the Dollar Tree. They are washable and once they dry you can reuse them. And I covered all three pieces. Then I'm going to hit the snowflakes. I'm going to remove the painter's tape from the hat and paint the upper portion of the hat in black. Then I'm going to paint the rim of the hat in black, which is a separate piece. I'm going to paint the buttons black. The word frosty white. My tag over here I'm doing in our Republic Red the heart in Republic Red, and the bird in Republic Red. I'm going to do the carrot nose in Mandarina, and the arms in Chocolate. This is the stand for my snowman, so I'm going to paint all the parts in Chocolate. And you're going to want all these pieces to dry thoroughly before we start gluing them together. I'm going to take the main base of my snowman and I'm going to turn it around. I want the nice side showing and I'm going to paint the back in chocolate. Then I'm going to glue the circular part of my stand to his back and you will see a scoring mark where it should go. I'm going to turn it back over and we're going to start gluing the pieces together starting with the head and the hat. I'm using stick fast. You can get this on Amazon. I'm going to glue the rim of the hat. And this is a fast acting glue. So you really want to uh, hover your pieces before you press it down because once you lay it down, you're not going to be able to get it back up, frankly. So now I got all three pieces of my snowman together. You can use these clamps from the Dollar Tree to hold it while it's drying. And now I'm going to take some black paint and fill in the eyes and the dots for the mouth. Another tool that we use is our markers from Sharpie. They are paintbrush markers and they're very great with detail if you're not comfortable using a paintbrush and paint. I'm going to glue the nose and then the arms. You only need a very little bit of glue. Then I'm going to glue the three buttons on. I like to lay my pieces down and have a plan before I start gluing. It's just a good practice so you don't put something in the wrong spot. Then I'm going to use my Sharpie marker for the eye and the beak on my bird which is yellow and black eyes. And then I'm going to glue it to my hat. And then I'm going to glue a snowflake on the hat. Then I'm going to glue my second snowflake down at the bottom of my snowman and then add the heart in the center of my snowflake. I'm going to take the word frosty and I'm going to glue it to my tag. I'm putting a little black around the edges of my tag just to give it some interest. And now I'm going to add some detail using my Sharpie marker in the white. Again, this is a, a paintbrush marker. These work great. And I'm just adding some detail, which is usually lines and little dots. And 
and now I'm going to add a bow. I just took some ribbon and wrapped it around the neck. This ribbon does have a wire in it, so it's easy to manipulate. I'm going to tie a knot. And then I'm going to take some jute and hang the tag around that knot area. And then I'm going to create a bow with no tails and I'm going to glue it in the center of that knot from the jute. You can glue your tag down so it doesn't flop around and add a few bells. Thank you so much for your purchase. We appreciate it. And there's more on chalkitupfancy.com.